the character's not good anymore. This character has its flaws. Look, every damn character has its flaws. It's just about how bad you want it. And, you know, the rewind back to Glitch 6 and your neck of the woods, he had a phenomenal showing there. Obviously not the place now he wants. Uh -huh. But you know what, though? At least he let the world know that you cannot count me out. My Mewtwo still does phenomenal work. And I'd argue, obviously, this is this is the better uh, version for him right here, man. That's right, man. Uh, you get you get these wins, you really, you really something. I mean, like, Glitch, that was great, 600, uh, 600 entrance, but here we are, 2,000, okay, right. over 2,000 entrance. That's right. And yeah, if you get a top eight in there, you can't nobody talk to you. No, okay? absolutely not. You're you done. can't tell me that. I can lose everything for, you know, the rest of my life, and I'm still going <laughs> to brag about this guy. But Genesis, though, bro, I don't care. Genesis, all right? That's true. That's going on every resume, going on everything. <laughs> I'm going on resumes that don't even uh, uh, matter, man. Are hey, you trying to work with this Wendy's? Yo, I got a top eight of Genesis 6. What's right. up? Oh, right this way, sir. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, get these guys situated. It looks like we're uh, still kind of cross-talking real quick, but uh, the pick was Final Destination. Pretty okay. sure. I saw I saw Abba already practicing against Mewtwo, so you know he was in the back. I guess he's probably trying to lab out the, the perfect confirms for the uh, the KOs here, see if he can get his up there up there still working or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, man, Mewtwo. Just a just an underplayed character. I still think he's good. Just probably not the the same way of good that we were used to seeing in Smash uh, Four. That's right. That's right. He has some some different changes. Um, a lot of the Mewtwo mains like his dash attack is much better now. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's a slightly different well, animation. Well, huh. For now. Uh, for now. For it, now. De right. it definitely just got nerfed. But yeah, yeah for yeah, now. For now. For, like. now. for now. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. And then of course, um, and then side B off stage like in Smash Four, it has a, it pulled you towards the stage. Had different trajectory. Now it doesn't quite do that as much anymore. So it makes recovering just a little bit harder for Mewtwo because, as you know, it's already a thorn in his side to try to get his feet back on the stage because he has that bounce. And, of course, he just doesn't have a lot of options to land with. But taking away that side, he just made the task hand that much harder. But, you know, hell, if I didn't know who SDX was walking into Genesis 6, I would have thought he'd been playing Mewtwo since day number one Uno, man. Nerfs or not. Now, free. Free. I mean, honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if as, when this game uh, opened up, that was like as soon as he unlocked it, that's all he played. Yeah, free. This, this Mewtwo has been moving, grooving, and definitely showing you that this uh, character can be smoothing. That's anyway. Right, all right, we're just about to smooth our way into a game number one, man. We got to get the button checks out of the way. I feel them. A lot of these guys have probably been chilling for a while, looking to play on stream. I like how they're kind of just all hanging around the stage. That's a huge testament to how strong the TO staff is here. So huge shout out to all those people, man. Abadango, SDS getting ready to throw down. I, we haven't, I haven't heard a lot about Abadango here in Smash Ultimate. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that he's not fantastic, but he's just not quite getting a lot of that notoriety and love as much as some of the other Japanese players yeah. are. So hopefully Genesis 6 shows him that, you know what, man, you can't sleep on me anymore. Now, honestly, man, I, I didn't even know he was here. Oh, dang. No, I, I, think no, I, same, I, same. I, I commentated for him uh, on Friday. But if before then, I was like, oh, I didn't even know he showed up, man. So he even sneaking and sliding through this bracket. <laughs> right, man. And here we are already in top 16. Right, man. Slide his way into some damage top here 32, as well, sorry. too. You know, he gets the rapid jab. 28%. But his answer back with the Nair, though, man. Good option right there from SDX. You know, short hop Nair. I think it's a sleeper move sometimes from Mewtwo. A lot of times people don't respect it. They're always like, man, you can just meet it with another, uh, with another hitbox, man. You don't really have to worry about it too much, but man, short hop Nair opens up so many opportunities for Mewtwo. He's short hop Nair in a forward air, short hop Nair into another down tilt, which leads into a forward air as well, man. Mewtwo not short of combo options. Okay, man. I, I like the fact that, okay, Abadango put a lot of pressure out there with the uh, with the gun and with the bomb. I mean, he's using all of his ink, but it doesn't seem to matter, you know, that he must got the ink saver on because my boy managed to keep his ink up at all times. Here we go. Up throw. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Okay, oh, okay. Wait a minute. Scooped his ass up from like three feet away. Damn. All right, look, that's that's that Mars hitbox joint. It's just uh, you know a little, a little better of a two part. They got the feet hitbox as well. Like you coming with me? That's right. We going to the top, baby. All right. I like that rolls behind him. Just doing some very simplistic stuff too. You know, a lot of times people get uh, you know wrapped up in just the craziness that Inkling brings. You know, the roller combos, and being able to air dodge into the ground, they use up smash afterwards, so on and so forth. That we forget. A low percent Inkling can smack up some pretty big opponents. That's true. Oh, okay. Oh my God! Speaking of getting smacked up though, that Shadow Claw. Oh, see, see if it's trying to two frame it. I understand that you know you don't want to try to. Sometimes trying to go off stage and uh, and edge guarding Inkling can be super hard. Not only do they get that that uh, extra jump from the roller jump, but uh, at the same time, just that up B has a, a beginning and an ending hitbox. So a lot of people end up getting thrown off by that if they don't know. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Rolls away. Nice, very deceptively plays down tilt, just trying to alleviate some of the pressure. Oh, and then trying to catch an option out of shield. That was a really good option there from SDX, but it was just met with the even a better hitbox there from Abadango. Okay, dude, I, li I like this Abadango gunplay, by the way, man. This neutral man. B is getting some, some splatter shot action. Yeah, man, he's, we getting that. He's good with the tool, man. Definitely right. Ooh. Okay, yeah, just get him out here with that quick up throw. So not a lot of percentage here on to SDX, but again, we are playing Mewtwo's super light character. So even though uh, just off uh, looking at the bottom of the screen doesn't seem like a lot, yeah, Mewtwo got about on a 30% before he fully threatened on that stop. <laughs> right, man. <laughs> I mean, you have to take a trip to the... Oh. You have to get a potion pretty soon. Oh, okay. All right, you know what, Abadango? I don't know what you're going to get off that down there, but I was I was with the action. Yes. 
Okay. Trying to get a stage spike. But I, oh, man, how could I forget about that, man? He could definitely do up air through the ledge. Yeah. Yeah, usually, I mean, when they're, when they're recovering backwards, you'll see the back air to the ledge. But, you know, he definitely is like, you stand a little too close for me, player. That's right. Up throw up air, almost right. finishing off, but was not enough. Yes, he's actually a little too close to that blast on right there. Won't be able to survive too many more of those. Nice with the ledge coverage and the conditioning. Damn. Okay. Yeah, double down tilt. And he's like, oh, you stood up? Now it's time for the down smash, man. It is. Our 84% though. Obviously, uh, SDX is trying to keep it super close, but now the painter. Oh, he took big damage off that one, boy. You don't let. The, oh my! What? What? Yo, what shiny is that? I don't know. Man. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> Somebody grab the Pokedex, man. Oh boy, looking like he got a whole fresh. That's a candy paint right there. What's up? That's right. It's Mewtwo X and Y. Is this Mewtwo W? I don't know which one this is, man. Ooh. It's one of them last letters. All right, back into it. Oh, nice. That's yours. Yeah, you can take that back. Listen, I mean, honestly, SDX hasn't really been able to get that. Yeah, final hit. He finally gets that forward there, but it's still not enough. Oh, bounce off the uh, stage this time. Oh. Nice, he threw everything at him that time, man. Down smash, down to even with the fall away forward to try to reset the neutral, man. But we're about to reset this game into a game number two SDX. Not the strongest showing. Abadango, he came to play, damn it. Nah, I mean, I said he was over there practicing against that Mewtwo, and that was exactly what he, what he was doing. He said, you know what? I need to know the exact percentage when I need to go for this up throw up here. Yeah. Get that KO. Oh, this is it. I'm out. He said, I didn't travel all the way over here for no reason, dog. Dude, I played Mewtwo. I mean, you got to show me something new, all right? Yeah, that's the, that's the other thing, man. I kind of miss all these Mewtwo players, like, you know, playing Mewtwo. Like, I want to I wanna know. Um, well, honestly, Abadango's been kind of all over the place. He's always been, a, a, like, a character special specialist That's right. on whatever character he was playing at the time. So, you know, the, the Wario was popping off. The Pac-Man was popping off. The uh, Rosalina, he had, he had the Rosalina Luma for a bit. The Meta Knight. That's right. So he's got some characters, man. I'm sure he's probably looked at all, all of them as he was going on. I know uh, when he first played, he thought very highly of Meta Knight. So I wonder if he has that on the side, if he ever needs it. Oh. But... Uh, right. Obviously, he don't need it right now in this matchup, the way that he's playing. He, I mean, he, he knows that Mewtwo. He said, I know it's a different game, but I still played that character for a long time, and I don't forget. That's right. You know, with being as combo-based of a character as Mewtwo, Mewtwo's going to have to make sure he makes every hit count, and make sure that every hit goes uncontested. Because mm. a lot of times, Mewtwo mains will get so caught up in making sure the combos land that they'll forget that I've traded blows with characters much stronger than me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Or who, who obviously can survive much longer than I can. And, you know, history has shown Mewtwo is never, despite what he reads on the Pokédex, not the heaviest character here in Smash, unfortunately. Man, my man took a lot of time uh, thinking about what he was going to pick, though. I'll tell you that. Right, just to go to Town and City? Dang, man. All, All right. right. We'll, see, we'll see what happens here. I'm with Town. Yeah, Town and City obviously has gone through some changes. I'm sure you know, people in the chat might not know. Um, you know, used to be the lowest ceiling, or one of the lower ceilings, excuse me, competitively in Smash 4. Mm -hmm. Not actually the highest ceiling competitively here in Smash Ultimate, man. So, uh, you know, new game, new year, new stage, dog. Yeah, we, we, we mix it up, too. And then also, the... the um, well, the hazard off gameplay that we do, it still has the platforms come in and out, but yep. they actually, uh, seem to, seemingly though, they seem like they leave uh, later. So, or not later, but uh, like slower. So people ain't out here getting OD stretchered, but oh, okay, here we go. All right. I like that. Went down there just to scare him. You know, even if the dare would have connected, you know, he would have took it. But if not, though, he at least lets him know that you're not going to be able to oh. hang out out there for free. All right. Platforms back real quick. Just, just the two side ones, though. Oh, did you see that? I love that air dodge bait. He was actually expecting him to uh, directionally air dodge. So he could try to punish the landing mm. lag. All right, I'm down. Oh, there you go, big grenade. I'm surprised he let, surprised he let that one rock. Like he's yeah. getting the full charge on that. He just ate it. Up there, up, up there. air. Yeah, there it is. Up throw, up air. Let's go ahead and finish that one off yet again. Another Abadango stock mm. being taken by that day one. You know what I'm saying? I think they had all y'all complaining on Twitter. Man. <laughs> <laughs> man, now look, I'm glad somebody said it, man, because I never, I mean, Inkle is a phenomenal character, very strong, but I just never thought this character was the best character in the game. I'm like, come on now, y'all, y'all kind of dragging it, all right? Have you met Ivy's I'm, I'm still saying. waiting, yeah, I mean, I'm still waiting for the Inkling to win, win a major, man. I, I think that's what all the Inkling players are, 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 are glad that they're not doing, too, so that way they, they can't be like, see, I told you I was the best character in the game. Now you get to play your character Reckless Abandon, no one can tell you otherwise. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh, back on stage. <laughs> My man. Uh-oh, okay, four there's met with the back here right there. SDX is doing a phenomenal job just kind of getting back towards the ledge of the stage and setting up shot. We're starting to see more shadow balls. And I actually like this approach before. He's doing a lot of short hop nair. Oh, here we oh, go. Wait a second. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, man. Get the, get the, use the shadow balls. All right, SDX. Yeah, I, I was ready to say, man. Abedango seems like he's trying to stay at a range where he's only punishing SDX for thinking that he was coming in. So now that uh, – oh, okay. We get that pick up. Now that SDX is opting to use a little more shadow ball in here, uh, it's forced Abedango, one, back into the air but, or, or to block. And right. two, to not be able to play his game, but just chilling the other side. But now, look at the rush down here from uh, Abadango. He's like, you know what, man? You want to throw more Shadow Balls? I'll come through. That's right, man. Come on through, man. You deserve rounds. Oh, my Ooh. God. Catches the high recovery off the ledge. The parry. All right. To the down tilt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice air dodge as he moves uh, back to the middle stage. Throwing another grenade. Watch yourself. 
Okay, stays back. The uncharged Shadow Balls. I think he's looking for a shield so he can run in and grab. Might not get the opportunity. There's the throw. Little misposition there for the up air that time. Oh, that tail was poking. Yeah, what? Like, like straight up, man. I, I didn't look like he went to the bottom of the stage on that one. He was glitching it out or something. What the heck? Okay. I know he's a little preemptive on how he wants to come down here. You know, Abadango has those options covered. A trade, a forward air. Not the best trade in the world here for Abadango. SDX living to fight another. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, now, now you paint it. Oh, my God. Oh, he's going to get make it to the other side. That's so unfortunate. SDX went above and beyond to try to get that stock off. He wanted that lead bad. Okay, off stage pressure. Oh, damn. There that we go. We get the lead off that one, though. What the, the heck? I think he tried to jump off that ledge, SDX. And that, for, first of all, four there is still nice. Yeah. Right? Oh, free. Still, still a huge hitbox. I, I needed that parry so he can get out that uh, shield pressure. And then just like that, the up throw up air, another stock taken. That's right. SDX getting very, very nerve happy, like I kind of briefly mentioned before. Man, I want to see him kind of slow this match down. I know people at home. You know, they had fallen in love with Mewtwo's aggression. He can do some crazy stuff at low percent, has some cool high percent stuff too. But, you know, Mewtwo can also play the slow game, and we can't forget about that. A lot of down tilts. You know, bait the opponent in, go for Nair. Mm. Rack up that damage. Mm. All yeah. right. Oh, okay. I, was, I thought he was going to chase him, keep, uh, chase him off stage, but Abadango able to get the recovery. The two frame has been called. Oh. He hit that man with the what are those. He yeah, said, that was the what are That's the thriller right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. <laughs> he said hit him with the thriller. I hit him with the quick, quick, quick thriller. So, anyway, good stuff to SDX again. Making our Mewtwo's proud, man. Mm -hmm. Hanging you know? on for dear life. That was actually a rough one. You know, Abadango's first game seemed a little bit easier than SDX's second game. But hopefully that means that there's going to be a turn and tie. Both players kind of adapting to each other as we move into the next mm -hmm. one. And obviously, this next game is very pivotal. But Honestly, man, I feel like these are two people that can definitely inspire you to want to pick up a character. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, like, especially, especially SDX. Again, man, SDX is playing that character that uh, not, I feel like not a lot of people are really trying to pilot right now at a, at a high level. So once you watch him play it, you understand it. You're like, oh, you know, honestly, I can see this character working. Or one day he'll just drop it, and, I, and everything I just said right now is a lie. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just think, you know, with the way Mewtwo's designed, mm -hmm. you know, we always talk about FGC characters and the way that they're designed and how good they'll be. There will always be a certain ceiling because, of, you know, the mechanics that they bring to the table. But in this game, you know, we talk about Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong's been good through multiple versions of Smash. Fox, you know, Pikachu to some degree. But we kind of forget about Mewtwo, though. Mewtwo's been in Smash a couple times, and I got to say, man, you know, the script is kind of the same when he, uh, how he decides to put on damage. You know, we're going to see a lot of uncharged Shadow Balls. The opponent has to respect that. I thought you was about, I thought you was about to say Mewtwo was good in Melee. I no, was like, I mean, man, I don't know where he's going, but I don't like it right now. No, like, no, he wasn't good in Melee, but, you know, <laughs> he wasn't good in Melee, but, you know, he plays a very similar game plan, you know, okay. just being able to combo it to death at low percents. Obviously, the difference is in this one compared to that one is just a much stronger character. Yeah, he yeah, actually yeah. is the world's strongest, well, yeah, world's strongest Pokemon to some okay. degree. Now, is that, where you get the notes from? Is that in the Pokedex? I need to know. Yeah, it's the stats, man. It's that's that's got to be one of those Aussie stats, baby. That's one of those. That's OD. That's OD. That's OD. Right, anyway, man. That's OD. <laughs> we're getting our third game. We got <laughs> Welcome to G6 once again, man. If you're just tuning in, it's third game 1 1 between our two competitors, Abadango and SDX. Mm -hmm. SDX taking that last game. So this is Abadango's counter pick. Right. See what he does with it. It's time to shine. Snaps the ledge real quick. Not wanting to do with the pressure anymore. I'm forgetting I'm how many stages in the stage list, too. God damn. It's, it's pretty much all of them. Yeah. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But it is actually quite a few stages. We obviously have to take a lot into consideration in terms of matchups. Mm -hmm. Okay, snaps. Let's using the up air once more. Oh, my God. Didn't quite snap right away. He's going to have to watch how he recovers here. I forgot about that. Mewtwo can kind of get caught. Characters that just teleport in general can have a hard time recovering here. Yeah, I can see that, man. You know, you don't want to get caught on the stage just on accident. Uh, but, yeah, so so SDS kind of uh, drifted back just to make sure. Not as, not nearly as bad as Unova. Yeah, he didn't even have to go nowhere. He's like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I could do that smash, but the smash is going to work too. That's but not nearly as bad as Unova as far as for uh, teleport characters, but I'm sure as a teleport character, you're just going to ban that anyway. Oh, free. Not a bad stage. Very pretty. Music's nice, but uh, recovery, oh, that's a different story, all right? Okay. Oh, hey. Ooh, okay. That's some damage right there. Quick 40. That's right. Oh, Using and he would have he got under that if he would have. Honestly, I think kept running or just shielded. He is getting so many of these Jabber sets. I love it. Yeah, man. He is actually moving on SDX right here, man. SDX not looking too hot. Yeah. He needs, definitely needs to slow this down. And I know it's hard because, you know, even though Inkling can, you know, play the long range game too to some degree, with courtesy of that grenade, you have to remember that this character can actually smother you with some huge hitbox, and obviously those hitboxes do a ton of damage. What the heck? SDX, relax. Yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a smart uh, air dodge in. You know what I'm saying? He thought he was going to try to go low, but he was like, ah, you know, I'm already right next to the ledge. I'm just, I'm just going to air dash in here. What's up? Okay, up throw. Okay, the, with the rage, he knew. He knew. He got the, he got the uh, grab exactly the percentage that he needed. And now SDX looking like, it was looking like a real struggle right now. Looking like a real uphill battle for him. 
to get into this third game. Finally get this, gets this first stock off Abba Dango. But is this going to be the start or is this going to be just, you know, a little long in the action for Abba? I don't know, man. You know, it kind of goes back to what I talked about before this match started. You know, SDX plays a very strong Mewtwo. I mean, I think the whole world kind of knows that at this point. But the name of the game is you got to be able to put on some percent uncontested. And he is just... I mean, he's putting on percent, but unfortunately, it's at the expense of his own percent in itself. He's doing a lot of trading, and you just can't keep doing that with Inkling. Dude, I think that the one interesting thing about Abadango right now is, like, every time he gets hit, he just he just disregards that. Yeah, he's like, I'll, I'll eat that mosquito bite, dog. Yeah, he's literally been, like, letting some of these shadow. Oh, there it is, the Slosher, one of the strongest weapons actually in Splatoon 2. Anyway, no. <laughs> I joined it's nice, man. The bucket is nice in that game, but it's also nice in this game, apparently, with the way that Abadango's using. But I was saying, man, he just... He's taking little hits here and not immediately going on the defensive, you know. Take a shadow ball here or there. Take a back air here or there. He's like, you know what? I feel like you're not really in a position to be punishing me anymore, so I'm going to just jump back in there. No, I think It's still my turn. That's right. He's very much comfortable in this matchup. You know, I think in that game, number one, Abadango was showing SDX a lot of respect. I think he understood what Mewtwo can kind of bring to the table, regardless of how much he had been laughing before the match. But that was a very convincing and a very uh, comfortable game, number three, right there. And so, mm -hmm. with this in mind, man, this is looking like the Abba show, but I don't want to count SDX out quite yet. I just don't want to see anything reminiscent of that last game from him. I want to see him put up a better fight. Yeah, a little two-stock action was, I mean, a little rough. Yeah. A little rough. But at the same time, man, that was Abba's counter pick. So maybe we get, we'll get the stage that works out for SDX to see where he's going. He's actually going to Smashville. Okay. Interesting. So, it's, so it's, he's still down. He's still got that Smash 4 in him, man. He was on, oh, he was on Town and City, now he took it to Smashville. Right. Home sweet home, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. He's hovering over Mewtwo. Inkling's back in the building. Okay. Got to send them prayers up to the Smash guys, man. Let's hope this works out for you. Okay. What well, could be looked at as the final game here for my man SDX. We get ready to start things off here on Smashville. SDX taking a much more passive approach here in this match. You know, we fall in love with the aggression that Mewtwo brings to the table, but I like to see Mewtwo use those shadow balls, use that down to a little bit more. He yeah. gets quite a bit off of Nair, but Abadango looks like he's kind of figuring out how to deal with Nair. We've seen a couple parries in the earlier matches. Okay. Oh, this is looking way better right now uh, at the beginning of this game for SDX, though. Now he, he, he has had a decent amount of stage control for for, you know, again, Inkling's great recovery. That could have been a stock for anybody else in this game. Almost got the jab lock, but was not did not get far, uh, move far enough up for him to get that actual jab. And I think that down smash probably would have sealed the deal, too. He still went for it, too. Didn't even get the jab. And was like, well, I mean, you stood up. I might as well go for it. Right. Why not, man? Oh, okay. No back air for you. But I would like to see a little bit more of that as well, too. Okay. Uses the roller for good measure. But, of course, he's still off of his feet. And that's another aspect of this match we haven't quite seen either. Mewtwo does a good job at punishing awkward and bad landings. Not saying that Inkling has that, mm -hmm. but that up air is certainly a large hitbox. Yeah, he was like, don't land on this. Ends up having to air dodge back down to the ground just in case. The F tilt. I'm going to go ahead and send him off stage one more time. Can we get a down smash? Nope. There you go. Man, I feel like you, I mean, I remember how often that used to hit when people were trying to get up the ledge against Mewtwo, and it's like they always seem to have the time to throw in that shadow ball to, to, to hover over the ledge or catch your jump. Oh, oh, Jukes. All right. So got Spirit Fingers, ends up tossing the Shadow Ball, though. There's a grenade just for a, a clank moment. Yeah, that's unfortunate for uh, Abadango. Try to get himself some damage from stage control here. And oh, wow, it, it, so he's getting, these uh, these confusions are definitely helping out SDX a lot. Not only is he throwing that grenade back, but he's getting a couple extra hits off that one, too. And uh, and stopping Abadango's approach. Abadango's got to start, like, thinking wisely about throwing his flat bombs out here. That's right, man. The projectile game is something that you got to be very, very cognizant of when you know you're playing against a Mewtwo, especially a high-level Mewtwo at that. You know, we might not think reflectors go a long way, but with a character like Mewtwo can use his reflector and then combo at very early or late percent off of it, come on now. Mm -hmm. Show this character some respect, all right? All right, this time Abadango was like, eh, well, I'm just going to gonna go ahead and run right past it. Oh, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you coming off this ledge? That's right, man. You spoke it into fruition, I man. definitely was like, hey, remember y'all had that timing? He said, oh, you mean this timing? Oh. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> he said it ain't went nowhere, man. Oh, whoa, my God. Okay. Very sneaky stuff. I think he was expecting the uh, the directional air dodge back to the stage so he can try to read it out and yeah. then go for the spike there that time. But he's, at least he's still able to push the advantage as Abadango's off stage and this percent not stopping. Abadango looked like he's had an answer to stop the bleeding. I feel like we're about to see a game five with the way this game is going so far. Right. As the X feeling right at home on these, uh, on these Town and City and Smashville picks. The forward air, oh, the air dodge forward, and, he, and the drift back too so he can keep it. Man, that was a great recovery right there from Abadango. Right. Had to do a lot. There's layers to that recovery. There's certainly layers. There's certainly levels at that too, man. You know, Abadango, a little bit more old, a little bit more preemptive as he tries to get on that top platform. Now, a moment ago when he tried to get up there, he almost got met with the disable. So he's like, let me try to jump through it this time and try to mix up SDX as he tries to approach me. But SDX had it scouted out 10 years ago. Good forward there as we close that one out. With that being said, man, we're into game five. 
As, as you uh, as you said, that game could have went either way, and that's kind of what these games have looked like. Yeah. You know, SDX. Uh, the first game was the first game was pretty ABBA. Yeah. The second game was uh, SDX, but it was still close. The third game was was all ABBA, and now that fourth game is all SDX. Yeah, man. And that boy, that boy turned on in that fourth game. So see if he can keep that momentum going into the fifth game, or will ABBA just complete the trend of going one 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 one. With yeah. this guy, so. But if, if it goes down like that, Abadonga obviously is definitely going to be the one to close this thing out. But SDX, though, uh, you know, he had a, a lot of nail biting sets at Glitch, too, that I was actually really surprised that he was able to clutch out the way he did. So hopefully he can tap back into some of that energy and try to carry that over here to Abadonga. Obviously, Glitch, a phenomenal event, very stacked. But I mean, this is Genesis, the best all over the planet are here, man, for that number one spot. Mm -hmm. And we are, we're taking no prisoners here. And this is like that, that first major that's really going to determine a lot for your, the rest of your rankings and honestly your just popularity, man. There's a lot of people out here watching, man. You win this tournament and you already won at 100K, I'll see you at 100K, baby. There we go, I'll see you at 100K, there baby. There you go, man. If somebody like SGX, who I don't believe is sponsored, the chat can correct me if they like. Um, you know, a phenomenal place in here could definitely help aid him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, like, to, I like to see. Uh, I, I like to see that. That's right, man. I want to see more tri-state representation. I, I just like to see more sponsors, to be honest, man. Well, that too. You know? But uh, Abadango obviously he got the jersey on, so we know he's you know he's bonded, man. He's been holding it down. He's been sponsored multiple times too. He's just that great of a character, or right. that that great of a player. Yeah, man. Phenomenal. All right, so this this is a good counter pick for Abadango. Um, yeah, it's a teleport recovery at a Unova. There you go. Oh, that's right, man. And so these high plats too might be able to lead into some crazier stuff. Uh, he might be able to get like a, a full hop up air, mm. and then uh, and then try to get another up air as he lands, uh, if he gets some some grabs. So see how this one's gonna play out for him, and if this. Uh, or if this messed up, uh, I guess, sidewalls and stuff is actually going to mess up Abadango's or SDX's recovery. Yeah, you know, it, it's all, I guess, a testament of time at this point. You know, SDX and his Mewtwo, they've been playing so well this weekend. Um, and I think he knows exactly why, like you talked about, why Abadango decided to go here. Yeah. Um, and so with this in mind, you see he's going for, like, short hop there. He's going for down tilt. But instead of pushing the pressure off stage, he's just allowing him to come back because he does not want to get caught off stage just in case he misses anything out there. Yeah, yeah well, he's definitely putting the pressure onto Abba right now, though. Like, I... Right. My boy, my boy is already at 107. Now he's starting to get a little stage control here. Let's see what he does with this. Uh -oh. oh, not again. You can't, you can't hang out forever, man. Get off that ledge. Abadango moving towards the middle, taking down that fort. And this, this is scary too, man. Again, when you got pain on you, you're you, uh, <laughs> yeah. taking some damage, dog. Yeah. Let him know, TK. It's crazy. Oh, nice. Now, usually the, the dash attack can go through the opponents if it's like timed uh, incorrectly. But that time, he actually knew that was going to stop right in front of him. Yeah. Like he wanted to go for a punish at that time. Could be reversed on the charge neutral special. We forget that. Mewtwo actually has some, uh, he has some very Lucario-esque uh, setup. Obviously, he doesn't have the hitbox on his charge neutral special. But that doesn't mean he can't reverse into it, man. But speaking of getting reversed, my man, Abadango, man. Things looking to, looking to get reversed on him if he doesn't play it safe here. He threw that stock in reverse right there, man. He said off the wall or off the uh, ground and <laughs> to the ceiling, baby. That's right, man. Put in reverse Terry indeed. Okay. <laughs> bad right. up, bad good, Terry. Trying to get the, oh, actually doesn't get the full hop up here this time. Yeah, oh. all right. Still not enough. Let that platform get himself a little more ink as uh, uh, SDS has to re recover yet again. Oh, not the get up attack. Yeah, easy punish here for Abadango. Now, you know better than that, but I know he was shook, though, because he felt like if he did neutral, he would have ate an up smash. And had he rolled, he probably would have ate down smash. So he probably felt like the get up attack was his best option. At best, he'd get a he'd get a clank moment, but now that's time you got to bet on it, man. Yeah, you got to be a bet, man. You're right. Yeah, if he, if he would have tried to dumb the, uh, dumb the up smash because he had, had the full invincibility on his... Uh, on his get-up attack, yeah, I would have just straight up beat it out. Mm -hmm. Would have been great for him, but uh, fortunately for Abadango, he was ready for it. The forward air, though, he definitely was not ready for that, and it looks like he's going to be ready for a loser's bracket. If he, Oh, actually, it looks like he's going to be ready to be out this tournament if he keeps this type of game play up. My man, uh, SDX, was like, I'm not ready to leave yet. That's right, man. I'm not going back home, man. I'm going to this next portion of bracket. I don't care who's in my way. Abadango, though, not taking very much damage. Good stuff there, holding out the shield. Now, it was actually interesting. Now, before, you know, you would see players get knocked up on the platform. Their first their first instinct is to roll. Yeah. That time, he actually stood right up and held shield because he knew that Nair was coming. The Nair's not stopping, though. Nair in the forward air. I'm not going to fix some really, some really, like, almost, like, desperate option, man. That, that, that roll on the left side was kind of kind of wild. Like, he got a roll. He was already getting shield. Still dropped the roll on his, on, on his shield, and they ended up getting hard punished for that, man. Right, boy said at 78% because of that. Yeah, that's not good, man. Oh, oh, no. That was supposed to be a cancel, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I feel like he might, he was trying to get that uh, platform or something. But either way, man, it's kind of showing up in the middle of the stage. Not, not even really getting a good uh, punish. Abadango was probably trying to match him up to a certain percent. But uh, SDX able to match out of that. This time Damn. taking the feet, man. I'm coming out there. That's right, man. He's a foot doctor. You got to go above and beyond. That was the Shoals kick right there, man. Right. You got to go above and beyond 
Uh, if you're trying to go ahead and stay in this tournament, you know, you're already at 70% of your last stock. Not too much that uh, SDX has to add on to really threaten it. Right, oh, reads yeah. it, but reads it a little incorrectly here. Allows my man Abadango back onto the stage, but Abadango starting to push things to the limit right now, and I'm liking it. He knows that he likes to hang out on the ledge because he struggles on Unova. Most teleport characters do, like we talked about before, so when he hangs out, he uses that grenade to push him back out there. Oh, oh my okay, God. look at the dead. Hold on, man, Abadango. I, th I think you might have heard that I was telling him that, you know, this is, this is, this is losers, dog. Man, he emptied the clip on him. What the heck? And really then rolled did. the window up. Oh, my God. Yo, look at his ink. Look Damn. at his ink. Yeah, he's got to get a little bit right uh, right there. Gets himself enough for at least two grenades. Got to reload. Uh-oh, there's the up air. These platforms are never yours. SDX, man. I feel like he hasn't even got a hit since Abinago has started this assault on this last stock. I mean, he was at 70-something, but now he's only been at 95, so about 20. Oh, no, he did not. It's enough. He caught the roll, and I love it. I love it. I was ready to say SDS was, man, honestly.